wanted to start the class by reviewing a few navigation items in Schoology. The first thing is when you first log into Schoology, you are at your Schoology dashboard. And you can always get back to your dashboard by clicking here where it says Fayetteville Manlius in the top right hand corner of the screen. So if I'm in a particular course and I want to get back to the dashboard, I just click right up here. The dashboard is where you'd see all of your courses. If I just click courses at the top, this is just an overlay over whatever page you're currently on. And it's only going to show the first 12 courses in your list. To view all your courses, you need to be at the dashboard. And you can scroll down and see that I have way more than 12 courses and I'm only going to see them all when I'm here at the dashboard. If I want to rearrange the order of my courses, I can just click on a course and just drag the icon to wherever I want it on the screen and rearrange these courses tiles any way I want them. Also, when you see the calendar on the, your dashboard, you're going to see the upcoming events um, and due date all of the courses and groups that you're enrolled in. Now, a couple other items that I want to point out. Um, underneath your name, if you go down to settings, this is where you can change the settings for your own personal account. And one of the items that you probably want to do is to go to notifications and just check your notifications and make sure that you have them set. I personally turn all of mine off, but you can change notifications here um, by like, for instance, if I want to know, like, any time um, a student submits an assignment in my course, I want to get an email or I want to get a text. First of all, you can turn on text notifications by setting up your cell phone in this area. But if I wanted to get email notifications, let's say, on assignment submissions, I would click on Custom so that I could choose which class I want to receive the, the notifications on. If I chose this particular group, you can also do it for groups. When I click on this, um, it actually is going to automatically save it. So you can see that when I go back there, if I want to get rid of it, I'm going to have to go to edit and then uncheck that and hit submit. So you can receive, that's how you do um, individual courses, and you have the ability to check all of the items here. If you accidentally deleted something from your class, you would also find it under settings and that would be in your recycling bin. So anything that's been recently um, deleted can be found here and you can actually click on it and you can restore it and it will restore to the course that you deleted it from. A couple other little things I just want to point out in terms of groups. You, typically, every group under groups has some sort of group here for high school staff. At the high school, we also have one for the student activities office that all of the students are in. And so these are typically like either activity groups that you're in or building wide groups. Underneath your name, you're also going to see which, whichever school you're listed in here. I happen to have all the schools. But if I click here on Fayetteville Manlius, this is also a group. But this is a group that is available to anyone in the community. So that includes parents. So if a parent has set up a Schoology account, they would have access to this group. So let's take a look and see what we post here on here. Um, there are some announcements at the high school that they post. And then also under resources, this is where they'll post a lot of information that's relevant um, and that parents might ask to see as well. One thing in particular, like for instance, the student parent handbook is here. Um, summer work, some of our AP courses require summer work. And so that is we typically post in this area as well and just some other forms. But this group is not um, just limited to teachers and students. It's pretty much anyone in the community who has access to Schoology, who's, part, who's defined as a member of this community is going to be able to see that. And the other navigation items will continue as the course continues.